There you go, buddy. <laughs> I know. This is a hard way. <laughs> You're not making it easy on me, bud. Okay. I'll let you lay there for a minute, I guess. Packages. Oh, we gotta, we gotta let this one close. It's on the 12th floor now. That's what we have to wait for. Here it comes. Here it comes, dude. This side or that side? Yes. <laughs> and Ern throws all the sneaker con merch on the elevator, turns around, asks the lady for extra towels, and tips her. And the door shuts, merch just out on the elevator. <laughs> My man's still five minutes away. This is my luck with this shit. Some of us, some of us put out a different energy. You know what I'm saying? This is the way it goes. I'll see you later. We'll see you there. Hopefully. He is not getting in the car. Dog does not want to get in the car. He's getting picked up and he's in the car. There is no choice, my man. I like the smell of the dollar. Smell it. <laughs> Smells good. Yay! Huh? 20,500? No! Hey, oh, okay. Oh, no. Oh, we just had a deal with him. What? 20,500. Stuff under there. No, 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 no. The, the extra stuff. The yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but that's 20. Okay. That's 20. You count it. Check oh, it. Got that shit. Uh, we are opening this new store in Naperville, Illinois. Central Hype. I think Ern's being abused. <laughs> I, uh, I fully believe that Ern is not being abused. I, uh, I feel like you guys are like a good combo and one needs to give shit to the other to coexist. It's the same thing that happens with me and C's cake. There's a question being asked. Do you think that I treat you like shit? <laughs> it's tough love, right? Building soldiers out here. Yeah, bro. We're out here building soldiers. We're not here on no soft shit. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Stop being so emotional. Stop being so emotional in Teddy's comment section. Yeah. 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 Say that shit for your Word, son. Say that shit for when you miss the vlog because you're watching The Bachelorette. Yeah. Bitch ass. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Do you think that Teddy is overly mean to me? Not at all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, Here's a very like, valuable like, sneaker like, artifact. I'm gonna throw it, and Aaron's gonna spend the rest of the day finding it. Famous jerk ruins, <laughs> ruins uh, losers' day. <laughs> what the fuck? Famous jerk ruins, 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 ruins losers' day. Hi. We don't look like we belong here, do we? No, I love this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. No, yeah. Supreme, babe. We got it all down. Nice. Off white. Nice. Oh, we got it. What's your What's their favorite pairs of sneakers? Easy. Oh yeah, for sure. I just want to know what got you into sneaker culture, like originally. Maybe. Just the hobby, honestly. Like started out as a hobby, and then from there just came business. Nice. Thank you. Uh, boom. sneakers that I couldn't afford, right? My mom, I want these Reebok um, pumps that D Brown dunked it. Dying, 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 told my mom, they were $54. I cried, got them, my feet hurt, but all the looks I got in school were like, yo, those kicks are dope. So I just loved that feeling and I just kept on buying the heat. Nice, you know nice. what I'm saying? Needed some extra money, so uh, started out waiting in line for a couple hours, made like a thousand bucks. Got hooked. Yes, Ask everybody what got them into sneaker culture, all the vendors and stuff. Like how, uh, what originally got them into this? I started making money, and uh, I started doing it a lot more, making more money. <laughs> nice. Christmas, 80, what, 89? I got a pair of uh, True Blues, threes. I parked them up under my mom's bed. I'm rocking to school before Christmas, she ain't even know it. Put them back. I got whooped Christmas Eve when she went to rap and she was scuffed up already. Uh, so, I was the poor kid growing up and I couldn't really afford much. I couldn't afford to really play sports. Football's expensive, hockey's expensive, but I like Jays. So I remember the first pair was the Jordan 3 True Blues. So I cut grass, washed cars, I worked at a tanning salon on the table. I didn't eat lunch for like two years. I didn't eat lunch for like two years. Like just to be able to, and that was the first pair I could afford. I remember skipping school, going to, I think it was Foot Locker or Finish Line, and I fell in love, man. And that's been the only thing that stuck with me. Everything else in my life has changed, but not sneakers, man. That's forever. That's what got me in. Do you know what your son has on feet? I don't know what he has on. You got some dope I know what shoes. I have. What do you have on? I don't know. Air Max 1 Master. Nice. Yeah. No, what you have on me. Yeah? Ideas. Got you into sneaker culture. Like, what was the first sneaker you bought? Uh, first sneaker I ever bought was uh, Air Jordan. Air Jordan 8. Do you know what your son has on feet? They're one of my favorite pairs of old Uh Chinese New Year. Got it. about 2002. Nice. Um, it's been a long time. I think what got us into it is just the Jordan culture, the Jordan um, 
my favorite athlete was Michael Jordan, or still is Michael Jordan, so I always wanted to emulate him, so bought as many sneakers as, yeah, I mean, as he uh, produced. So that just got us into the culture, and, and we knew that we could make money off this, so. All right. $20, can't beat it, protects every shoe you've got, 400 million views on Facebook. Boost or Nike? Yeah, go get it. What is it? Boost. 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 They are wearing very expensive basketball sneakers. Yes. Do you know I can tell you how much they cost. Okay. I'm going to go with the Jordan and then the, I don't know, Air Jordan, Nike, something like that. And do you know, know what he's wearing? Easy's? Yeah. Easy's you give me a high five. Come on, give us a love, guys. Oh, what your son has on feet right now. Yeah. I love shoes so much when I was in high school and like everybody else. I wanted to have a personal pair, but I wanted it to pay for itself. I was in high school, I had to get Jordans, I'd camp, I'd wait. Uh, it was like a family thing, my brother and I both go do it. So it kind of transitioned into that. You guys can see, uh, it's, it's a little bigger than that now. So uh, a lot of these are customs, a lot of these are samples. These are samples right here. These are 10,000, 5,000, as you guys know. This is, this is a custom, this is wild. This is a, this is a, this is the indo uh, Nisian team special right here. Okay, turn it right, that's perfect. Samples right here. My girl wants to tie dye pair when they come. Yeah, that's, those are fire too. Yeah. Uh, those are Yeezys. Yeah, that's even better. That's right? model enough for me. There I'll give know. it to you. And Gucci. Gucci. Let and me see them Gucci kicks, my man. Can I see the side? Sweet. What are you copping with that? Calabash pants. No, I mean here. Oh, the number one. <laughs> I got into sneakers when I was like 10, 11 years old. I got into it with LeBron. I was a Heat fan. I mean, like I'm a Jazz fan first, but I like the Heat. My brother liked the Heat. They were the best team. I was kind of a bandwagon. So LeBron was like killing it, and he came out with LeBron nines. And on All Star Weekend, it was like those orange Big Bang ones, and I was like, those are like cool shoes. I couldn't get them. I didn't even know shoes sold out. So when I saw that, like, a wrap. Try to see if you know what your son has on feet. Oh no. Is he wearing his off-white shoes? Okay. And he's wearing an off-white jacket. Yes. Honestly, these, man. Oh, all right. Yeah. Nice. So how long ago was that? Okay, so I was 17. Yeah. So I'm maybe 18. My first sneaker con was in Denver. Or no, 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 not sneaker con. It was like DXC. Yeah. And I was selling shoes. And I saw these and I was like, damn, this is like fire. So now I got three pairs. So, you know, that's how it goes. So I think this is sort of like, a, I was deprived of them for my entire childhood. So I went overboard after. I wore Walmart shoes until I was like 15. My mom bought me my first nice pair of shoes, which is like one of those old man Adidas running shoes. First pair of basketball shoes, which I think was the Hyperdunk 2011. And I stared at them for probably two days straight. And I was scared to wear them because it looked so nice. And fast forward six years and I have 300 pairs of shoes. So. Right. Tell me when to start. Yeah. Tell me when to start. Yeah. All right, so my first pair of sneakers were the Jordan Infrared 6s in 2014. They, my dad didn't like, he thought it was all bullshit. And uh, I came, I went with 300 and came back with 550 in one day. And it was like my first day, so I didn't know what I was doing. And the fact that I made a profit showed him that I can do and be successful at this. So that's where I am today. The sun has on feet. <laughs> Ultra Boost. <laughs> Ultra Boost. You know what model? Uh, or is that too much? Am I wrong? I don't know. Clearly, I don't know. You're wrong. I worked at Vans when I was like 15. That was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. it was done. That was I'm gonna say you're gonna hate this, but the off-white ones. That's okay. I love them. I get that a lot. I love them. What got you into sneakers? Like, how did you? What was like the first sneaker? So a lot of my sneakers were more like simple, like skate stuff. So like uh, SB Blazers. I like uh, Converse One Star. Started getting more into uh, Adidas as of recently with Ultra Boost, just because they're so comfortable. Obviously, you guys probably know. That's what kind of first started. It was like certain like crazy colorways of uh, just like the older SB models, SB Blazers and stuff like that, and then Dunks and stuff like that, and then started getting into it more. So. Nice. Guys, <laughs> any thoughts on Teddy backing out of this basketball game? Oh man, you know, 
He's been training for months, but I guess he's like, mentally he wasn't there. Physically he was there, emotionally he wasn't there, but mentally, nah, he's... Maybe next time though, you know what I'm saying, next time. Teddy not playing at the top of the They had to give him some blunts to play, man. They, didn't bring, they got to provide blunts for Teddy to make his shots. Uh, but I'm waiting on the boost guy, man. I know you got that boost. Thoughts on how it's Teddy shooting after all that Man, trip. yo, I'm disappointed because Teddy could just throw it backwards and cash money and... Just the fact that they just respected him, bro. According to you know people outside, if no one was paying $100, $200 for shoes unless you were a straight baller. So that that's a big difference. Like no one gets to go into the Foot Locker and decide if they want the Yeezy or not. That is, that hasn't happened like over and over. So I think people also making every Yeezy the same, like thinking that the Power Phase or the Desert Rat is going to do the same thing as the, the V2 or the 350 is ridiculous. And they're not remembering the rants that Kanye went on when he was talking about basically having an infrastructure and wanting to design all of these things for everyday life. So those shoes, those little dad shoes sitting, that's needed for him to build that foundation and have like his own brand that stands on its own that doesn't really have much to do with Adidas other than the technology. Like, I think Adidas is following Kanye more than Kanye is following Adidas. Yes, sir. Wow, man, I mean, that takes me back to like sixth grade when I was actually taking Air Force Ones and I actually uh, would look up online how to do the patterns of the laces and I'd grab like two different, like a black and a white or black and yellow and I started doing the checkerboards with them and everybody at school was like, how the, you know, how do you get your sneaks like that? And so I actually started doing them for a couple classmates and I would like, you know, charge them like five bucks and I started hustling like that. You want to compare Kanye to Jordan? then you got to give it 10 more years because you can't compare it now, that's not fair. You compare it four silhouettes to 33, that's not, and Kanye still has to be proven in that part. Let's not get it twisted, the shoes are dope. I hated the first Yeezy, I like the second Nike Yeezy, and I like all the Adidas joints. I'm not going to sit here and say I don't like this. I'm saying that he hates my shoes, but it's, it's fine. It's I didn't even realize your front squad sweat at all. The fact that we're even having this conversation when he's only put on four silhouettes compared to 33, you kind of... No, that's, I mean, I get it, but that's, that's like, again, I hate the jump topics, but that's like saying Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper ever when you try to compare him to home. Like, you're talking 13 albums to four. Or, you know what I'm saying? So We were having that same conversation about LeBron and Jordan. If you ask me, when, when LeBron is done, I still think he's gonna have, he's going to have put a bigger impact in the game of NBA than, like, forget the sneakers. Bro, you, you're sitting here shaking his head. Barcelona! Come on. All right, let's bring up Barcelona. Like, the way we communicate now is way different than the way we communicated back when, in 94, and when Jordan was, Jordan was big. There's so like, many different I, I lived in LA, so like, I wouldn't know what was popping in New York until like, my cousins would come for the summer. Um, I mean, I can't really add much to the sports aspect of it, because I'm like, not a super sports guy. But I also think that, I think a lot of, to touch on the LeBron thing, I don't think there's like a, a new Jordan in the sense of an athlete because Jordan fans haven't let there be one. It's like Jordan fans take every effort they can on this communication device you talk about to make sure everyone knows that Jordan is king and there's no entrance into the fucking castle. And that part has just been kind of annoying for a long time. True. Is he a dick? 
Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. Teddy reminds me of those dudes that have to be right all the time. Yo, can I shout my channel? I'm keeping it one. real though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One. Exactly. I am a dick. It's fine, but I'm hilarious. But you know what though? This is the type of friend you want to keep around you because he's, he's not going to be a yes man. He's going to be like, yo, listen, first oh, yeah, off, you're well, fucking no, up. That's what we were talking about. Exactly. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm a fuck no man. No, I'm a How's it going, man? Going well. Good. Good day. You know, this is my friend Brendan. He's just Bro, a, honestly early. You thought I saw it was him Teddy. By and I was like, why does Teddy look so pale? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like Teddy, not not just smoking weed no more. He's smoking meth. <laughs> Small camera to sushi? Yeah. It's in my room. I'm down. I gotta get an edible anyway. I'm Small camera to sushi. And this is not my fault. This fucking thing is spinning. It says that we're at Nobu right now. Alright. Well, they just went in. Fuck me. <laughs> Tell you something. Oh, yeah, how are you gonna pour it for me? You can never pour your own sake. You know that? You can see they're like. What if we just get these sushi little rolls? We just get a lot We're of We're spare the same to take feet off. Whatever you want. I don't know what to do. This is Hetty's fault, not mine. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm like... I am. Oh. Tip and shit, ah, that's true. You're oh, going. The drinks, these drinks, this round of drinks was $160. Losing his voice. I don't want you to pay this much. I can get fish anywhere. Enjoy the experience. I can't wait for tomorrow, dude. I'm gonna cop another pair of shoes. Nice. Nice. Soup? Yeah. I'm gonna check the kitchen. I ordered that one. Yeah, just waste it. This look really good. good. Hopefully you'll sleep. Oh it's not like a man. <laughs> These joints are back right here. These joints. Fuck, this is wrong with that. Backwards. <laughs> Yeah, I think we all missed something. I missed something. I'm not sure what it was. I don't know. He's chewing like a fucking toddler. This fucking food's about to fall out of his mouth. You are faded, son. You are sake faded. You are sorority girl slashed right now. Yep. Done. So. Oh, no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this is your, don't look at me! This is your fucking husband. This is your man. <laughs> Somebody That's come you. get your man. <laughs> Who's man's? Oh my god. Look at Brandy, she's gonna leave me. Cut the camera. He's keep, now he's drinking it out of the fucking... 
documentarian of the year. Where's the Dutch masters? How many we got left? None. I got two. I got two. Aren't you glad you didn't order another thing of sake? No. <laughs> so fucking much. I love you. <laughs> Don't say that back to me right now. Uh, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh my god. May I get your review of Nobu Sushi, please? Okay. It's amazing. Amazing. Yeah. First of all, the sushi was delicious. All right. The soup was delicious. Mm -hmm. The edamame beans were delicious. It's been great. All right. It's been great. Probably the most we ever spent on sushi. We? Yeah, this is the most that we have spent on sushi. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when your portion's coming in. <laughs> Don't remember you reaching for your card a few minutes ago. Well, that's cool. <laughs> then off we go. The address, guys, because I have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> Seriously, hold on. I'm fucking put the address in. <laughs> it won't go in. Albany Street. Fucking help me. <laughs> Take me home. One hour and six minutes, I can't do it. What's I laugh so hard my fucking life. This dude is fucking twisted. Oh my god. All right, no GPS. We're following Brad. <laughs> NYPD, be careful. What do we need to be careful of? They'll shoot me. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know, because mm -hmm. they shoot at anybody. <laughs> Just you sound generally terrified. <laughs> I just don't want to get to my own town. <laughs> I'll eat a burrito right now. I'll eat a burrito. I'll eat the whole thing before, before we get back to the W. Get me a burrito. I'll eat before we get back to the W. What's up? I'm such a creep with no beer, too. Like, I'm drunk and I'm not thinking about how creepy I'm actually looking. Key on point, y'all motherfuckers say I'm drunk, but the key, the eight, we're there. Do you bring me space? Do you want to roll? Roll the up. Let's go to the roof. Let's go to your room, roll the blunt, and then go downstairs. You know, yeah, I say go downstairs. We're not going to the roof. Do that, boy. Boop, doop. Do that, boy. I'm so stupid. There are real fucking tears falling down. If I my die face. tonight, y'all know why. Oh. Brandy can't take the culture. <laughs> culture. <laughs> you still got the camera. Cut. Let me see. I saw the camera was in the room. Fine. Let me show you a little bit about New York City, okay? I'm just gonna pan into a fucking as soon as you do that. I'm gonna pan into a montage of the whole city. It's me, right? Okay. I'm rolling other. Let's go. He's, he's, hey! creepy. he's creepy. Stop. New York! Security. Just because I'm a girl, I'm still as much. Yeah, I'm gonna throw up signs to them like bop, 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 bop. Then now they know what's up. It's dirty or yeah, they bounce and look, turn the camera because they out of here. That's right. Territory out here, right? <laughs> you know, my mom, keep moving. These dirty motherfuckers are up the I really That's wish right. somebody would just come tack with you right now. I love you. I wish you were here. <laughs> I mean it. I mean it so much. <laughs> Jesus remember, Christ. Remember Florida. He's going to cry. Remember Florida. He's going to cry. Don't fucking do it because I'll have to put it in the vlog. Yeah, Don't I cry. I love Florida, dude. I love Florida. We walked the beach together, man. <laughs>
Shaker Khan? That's my grandma. Oh, grandma works? I just want to see how much... Oh, you love this. This is great. You know what? <laughs> I've done the opposite. I called someone's older sister a mom once. That that was his feet. Easy. You got it. You like them? No, I'm not getting it. So the brand doesn't like them. Sneakers. I've been in sneakers because of basketball, bro. I used to play, I used to play sports. I used to play basketball, football, baseball. Favorite was basketball. So like, obviously, it just kind of grew into a thing where I just started wearing them. Like every new season, it was a new, it was a new headband, it was a new armband, it was a new pair of shoes. So from there on, it just kept going. I always like liked fresh, you know, fresh stuff. So nice. yeah. it's the same question. Do you know what your son has on feet today? No, what shoe is it? Guess I'm... What brand? What brand N &D? is it? Yeah, that's good. That's N &D, better than... Yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. today unfortunately not blazing dairies but she's my favorite sneaker con mom for the record 